All right, what's up, gamers? It's Wikes. You know me. Um, this is a RafNet adapter. This is how you set one up. All right, with whammy and everything. All right, don't fuck around. I go all out. See, so you plug that shit in. It goes into the uh, nunchuck controller connector, whatever you call that thing, and then into the USB on your computer. It works just like that. Then you go to this link in the description. You download the RafNet Tech Adapter Manager install, executable, whatever the latest version is. And uh, then you go into your start menu, programs, RafNet Tech Adapter Manager, and launch it. And you can go in here and you can set the pull interval to 2 milliseconds and it gets nice and spicy. You can hit update firmware. Um, and uh, you'll have to hit this drop down and select your adapter. Um, but you should update the firmware to the latest one. Fixes some stuff on guitars and keeps things from going all wonky. So uh, yeah, we got that there. And then you want to launch Clone Hero. And when you get into Clone Hero, it's going to look like this and nothing's going to work. So you'll need to hit the space bar. And then you'll see there's this one player WUSB mount right here. And we can go ahead and assign each button. If I go in here and I hit a button and it doesn't do anything, um, then you can just unplug it, plug it back in right here, and it should start working. But basically you click every button right here, like red button, then I'm going to press the red button once to activate the controller, and then press it again to map the button. Go through doing that on everything here. Orange. Then we've got strum up, strum down, start button, select button, then down here, the whammy axis. That's that's some fun stuff. You know, I haven't seen people like explain how to set this up. Go into calibrate, go to axis two, that's gonna be your um, whammy axis and by default mine was something like this and uh, you'll see that this white bit right here is the current position of it it's all the way off to the right mine was like far enough out of whack that um, <clears throat> it was rounding up to one and then it wouldn't like actually register when I was moving the whammy because it was going from one to one and that's not any change so what you want to do is take this slider that says zero and you want to move this white arrow to the actual uh, zero. Put that right right on there just like that. Then I'm going to hold it all the way down and adjust my sensitivity so this is right at the top there. So it moves all the way across that range. Beautiful. That's that. I'll hit done. Then I'll go to whammy axis, click this, and then I'll strum down. Then uh, move my whammy bar and then it says axis two. So we got that right there. I'll hit done. Go into quick play. Um, I'll open up uh, the way it ends, I guess. That's got some sustains at the start. There we go. So if we launch this here. Now we got working whammy and the guitar works beautifully. That's it. That's all you got to do. So, uh, yeah, that was that. Good game. Hope you enjoyed, gamers.